So we just got our first look at the new UCS Venator, and man, I am definitely in the minority here, but I don't think this looks that good. Now, thankfully we don't live in a world of black and white, so this isn't absolutely terrible either. I know for some reason a ton of people think that if you don't love it, you have to hate it, but no, to me, this is the definition of, eh, it's alright. Like, I am super happy to finally be getting another LEGO Venator and a UCS Venator, but keep in mind that on my other channel, On The Brick, I've actually reviewed a custom UCS Venator, and Brick Vault have one of their own, which is amazing, and so many people have made custom UCS Venators that my expectations were probably higher than they should be, but looking at this as just a LEGO set, trying to put aside all the custom side, this really has some flaws that I just can't look past. And not to mention some weird inconsistencies that we'll get into in just one second. So in no particular order, let's just talk about the things that stood out to me. Why when I saw this I went, eh. And the first big thing that I noticed is the inconsistent tiling. It almost feels incomplete. Like, whoever was designing this started to try and tile the Venator, and then just gave up or forgot. The front here looks rather patchy, trying to put some pattern that really just doesn't exist on the ship. But the most egregious parts to me, and you'll have to forgive the fuzziness of the photos, we don't have anything high quality yet, are both the Republic insignia, and right after that, the red and grey stripes. This really just looks like it was an afterthought. This really feels like someone was just marking where these had to go and then forgot to come back to it. And yes, those are very minor complaints. The second big issue that I have, though, is that the sides don't really seem to be at the correct slope. When you look at it from the front especially, it feels way more flat than it should. The worst part for me, and they did this with the smaller Venator as well, is that these guns, tractor beams, whatever these are on the side are just way too big and stick out way too much. And then the bridge itself feels oddly underdeveloped, again like it was the first draft meant to be greebled later but they just never got to it. There's no real details or anything here like we see with the UCS Star Destroyer or at or well any other UCS set really. But there is actually an explanation for all of that which I will go into in just one second. But let me talk about those inconsistencies first, because which version of the Venator is this supposed to be? Yeah, if you didn't know, there are actually different Venators. There's the one from 2003 Clone Wars, from the 2008 Clone Wars, from Revenge of the Sith, and this Venator isn't really any of them. I would personally have preferred to go with the Revenge of the Sith, as it's the very first time we really got to see the Venator. But this is definitely not that version. The easiest and biggest way to tell this is just look where the insignia is on the Revenge of the Sith model and on the LEGO version, two completely different places. Okay, so maybe it's the 2008 Clone Wars version, well, sort of? The weird pattern on the front of the Venator definitely matches up here. But this doesn't have, like, the weird big guns, tractor beams, or anything. And weirdly enough, there's actually different versions of the Venator itself in the Clone Wars. For instance, some have a red bridge and some don't. So maybe, just maybe, this is going off the 2003 Clone Wars Venator. Okay, it's not going off the 2003 Clone Wars Venator. So then I have to ask, why is this on the box? Because the Clone Wars, the one that is quite famous and spawned Ahsoka came out in 2008, Attack of the Clones came out in 2002, the 2D animated Clone Wars, a very beloved show which I would highly recommend to anyone who hasn't seen it, well that came out in 2003, 20 years ago. So this little Clone Wars 20 insignia has to be for that, which feels a little disingenuous because like I said, 
this is not a representation of the 2003 Clone Wars Venator, and you can put that beyond any doubt when you look at the two minifigs that are included, a Phase 2 Captain Rex and a young Admiral Yularen, both characters which only showed up in the 2008 Clone Wars. So why is this insignia here? Clearly the nostalgia of 40 years of A New Hope, Empire, and Return of the Jedi has worked and so they're writing that train to try and get 20 years of Clone Wars, but again it feels a little disingenuous as it really just doesn't even need to be included. It's almost like LEGO need to try and justify having a prequel UCS set. But if you really want to know why this Fenditor looks the way that it does, it's because they used this image as reference. That's it, there's all your answers. They used this image to make this model off of, so the insignia is behind the red, the guns are a little differently shaped than you see in any of the other versions, and the red and gray stripes in the back actually curve down into the rest of the ship. The bridge is rather bland, and the tractor beams stick out quite a bit. I would personally have not used this when there's plenty of other references to go off of, but this is from the quote-unquote official source. Okay, so I got way too heated in this. I really don't care that much, and I'm probably still going to buy this thing. But I do think this is a cause for concern with UCS sets in general. We've been seeing a lot of sets that are either way too expensive, even if the end product is worthwhile, or really lacking in one way or another, like the recent UCS X-Wing. Hopefully I'm just overthinking it. I'm sure that once we see better, higher quality pictures, or we get like the reveal video that my opinion on this is going to change, but right now, based off the images we have, that is my opinion. Let me know yours in the comments down below, remember to like this video if you liked what you saw, and subscribe for future videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.